Hey everybody, what is up? It is Pamela, AKA Scooter Renee, over on Poshmark, Mercari, Instagram, YouTube, you name it, I have probably already claimed it. If you are new to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing by just hitting that button down below. And if you want to be notified every time I upload new video content, then just ring that bell down there as well. So today I am going to share with you what I did for April and I just cannot wait to share it with all of you. So if you are coming back to my channel and you have not yet subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing as well. And so let's just jump right into it. Let me show you what I did for April because again, my friends, I am so excited to share this with you. And so let's go. Let's get this party started because I am so anxious to share with you what I did for April. And just a quick side note, I got plenty of things planned coming up, different videos and stuff. Now that I'm done with school, I should have plenty of time to work on these ideas and also upload more videos. Let's get this started. First up on my list are these Kate Spade flip-flops. They sold for $17. I sold those on Macari and they sat in inventory for 258 days. It's that time for spring and summer, so these will look super cute on whoever is wearing them for those months. Next up is this Victoria's Secret cotton robe with a hood. It was super soft, nice. I hated to see this go, but it had to go to a new home. It sold for $15, and it's at inventory for 66 days. Next up, and this was on April 2nd, these Coach and Four Westport Teal Suede Ballet Flats. These were adorable. And they sold for $16, sat in inventory for only eight days, and sold on Macari. April 3rd, I had a couple of sales. First up was this Land's End Navy Blue Swim Trunks. They sold for $18. They sat in inventory for 285 days. And then I sold the Star Wars Sleeveless Gold Glitter Top that was in a video I did previously that I did not know what this emblem logo thing was, and I still don't know what it is. But it sold for $7, and it only sat in inventory for 12 days. So Star Wars is a pretty big hit. I got a couple more shirts I need to list of Star Wars. April 4th, I had one sale. It was this Free People We The Free Single Cold Shoulder T. It sold for $12, sat in inventory for 31 days, and I sold that on Macari. April 5th, I had a couple of sales. First up was this Neon Buddha mint green top. I never heard of this brand until I went to an estate sale and that is where I picked this up. I sold that for $15, sat in inventory for only 13 days, and sold that on Macari. Next up on April 5th was this Rock and Republic skull and embellishment tee. Sold that for $10. It sat in inventory for 86 days. And then April 7th, I sold a pair of Clark's flip-flop sandals. Clark's seemed to do very well for me. And so I sold those for $22. They sat in inventory for 375 days. And then I started adding hats to my inventory. So this was something new. I was curious to see how fast would they sell. And so the first up was this Peter Graham cowboy hat. Picked that up at an estate sale, I think, as well. Sold that for $20. It sat in inventory for 11 days. So I know I can buy some more hats. Next is on April 10th, I actually sold a bundle. The first of this bundle was Anthropology Angel of the North Cardigan. I actually found two of these at a at my favorite consignment shop that I shop at. Sold that for $26.25, sat in inventory for 131 days. And then the second item she picked up was this Band of Gypsies Floor Romper. So cute. Wish I was that size, but I'm not. But I sold it for $18.75. It sat in inventory for 42 days. And so my total bundle for that, those two items, was $45. Not too bad. And then on April 10th, I also, and let me back up. I actually sold eight items for April 10th. So that was a very busy day. Not sure if it was a make a deal day. So. Next up was this Patagonia Zip Up Light Windbreaker. Sold it for $12. It sat in inventory for 198 days. Then I sold this Lululemon No Limits Tank. 
It sat in inventory for 115 days and sold for $24. Then I sold this pair of Sperry Topsider Canvas, I always butchered this next word, Espadrilles, I believe is how you say it. $17, sat in inventory for 13 days. And then I sold this Madewell Smock Off the Shoulder Gingham Top. Super cute. I love gingham to begin with. Love smocks to begin with. Smocking, however you say it. Sold it for $15. Sat in inventory for 318 days. Next up is this Mary Kay True Dimensions Lipstick Rosette. Sold that for $14. It sat in inventory for 389 days. And then last for that day, I sold this Ozark Trail Pullover Jacket. I don't know if you're like me, but I can remember the very first purchases I made when I started sourcing for Poshmark. And this was one of them. And so, it sold for $13. It has sat in inventory for 831 days. But hey, I got the storage space and hey, it sold. And then on April 11th, I had two items that sold. First set was this Matilda Jane Ruffle Top. Sold for $20. It sat in inventory for 313 days, and it sold on Macari. And then I sold this Annabelle sleeveless top. Sold it for $8. It sat in inventory for 580 days. April 12th, I sold this Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon baseball t-shirt. Sold it for $14. It sat in inventory for 337 days. Funny. If you notice, that's what I have on today. April 13th, I had a couple of sales. First, that were these Nike Free Hyper Venom Mid FC. Sold them for $14. Sat in inventory for 643 days. And then next up was this Free People Intimately Body Suit. Sold it for $9. It sat in inventory for 37 days, and I sold that on Macari. April 14th, I had a couple of sales as well. First up is this Tsunami Vintage Horse Jacket. It sold for $20, sat in inventory for 171 days. And then I sold this Vineyard Vines Black Solid Suzy Fit Polo. Sold it for $8 because it was a little bit faded on the black, but just gave it a whirl to see if it would sell, and it did. So $8, sat in inventory for 71 days. And then April 15th, I had a couple of sales again. First up was this Pink Victoria's Secret Tank. Sold it for $8. It sat in inventory for 473 days. And then this Mary Kay Mineral Eye Color Cinnabar. Beautiful color. It sat in inventory for 390 days. Sold that for $8 as well. On April 16th, I had a four item sale on April 16th. First up is this Lululemon Packet Vest. Sold it for $20. It sat in inventory for 327 days. And I sold that on Macari. And then I sold this Tiger Sheer Sleeveless Turtleneck. So stunning in person. Better in person than it did on the, in the picture. But it sold for $16 and sat in inventory for 285 days. And then last for that day I sold was these Croft and Burrow Scort. Sold those for $5 and they sat in inventory for 660 days. This is a pair that my mom had worn that she can no longer wear, and so there wasn't any loss, so it was 100% profit. I'll take that five bucks. Next up, April 17th, I had seven sales on April 17th. First up was this Apt 9 Small Purse. Sold it for $10. It sat in inventory for 806 days. Again, this was my inventory, so or from my closet, 100% profit. Next, I had a pink Victoria's Secret top that sold for $9, sat in inventory for 433 days. And then I had this Sandy Startman tunic top that I bought at a estate sale that I'd hoped that I could wear. It was just a little bit tighter than I like for my tops to be. And so I sold that for $17. It sat in inventory for 12 days. And then I sold this pair of Johnny Was shirt and pants set. Sold it for $24. It sat in inventory for 98 days. And then I sold these beautiful pair of this Torrid floral pull-on pants. I had hoped to keep this for me, but they were way too long. I'm a short girl. 
and I did not want to mess with doing alterations, especially having to wait for that service to become available. So anyway, sold that for $27. It sat in inventory for two days. And then I sold this Matt and Nat black wallet. It sold it for $31. This was a brand I never heard of. I picked it up at a flea market type of place where it goes to charity. And so I picked that up. I had never heard of the brand. And when I saw the comps on it, I was like, I can spend this much for this wallet because this is crazy. Anyway, sold that for $31. It's in inventory for 19 days. Next up is this Adidas black and pink striped pants. Adidas is one of those that's hard for me to sell. I don't know why I have a hard time selling Adidas, but I was glad to see this pair go. Sold for $14, sat in inventory for 513 days. April 18th, I had five sales. First up is this Judith Hart Cambridge Club Blazer. Gorgeous in person. Love the color of it. $25, sat in inventory for 142 days. And then I sold this Guess Corley or Corlea Floral Lace Skirt. Brand new with tags, $20, sat in inventory for 286 days. And then I sold this Toric Duster button with tie strap. I'm sure it was part of a dress, but it did not have the cami that goes underneath it. Sold that for $15. It only sat in inventory for three days, and I sold that on Macari. And then I sold one of my husband's sweaters, Old Navy Man Sweater. Sold it for $7. It sat in inventory for 809 days. Sold that on Macari as well. Again, it was from our closet. 100% profit. Didn't really care how much it went for. Last thing I sold on April 18th was this Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Bra. Sold it for $16. It sat in inventory for 378 days. April 19th, I had a couple of sales. First up was these Tom slip-on shoes. So those for $12, they sat in inventory for 280 days. And then this La Academy Revolve White Cami Blouse. This girl and I went back and forth on price and finally I just let her have it. I was afraid I wouldn't be able to sell it later on maybe. So I just took a chance. It was new with tags. Probably should have held out. Anyways, $18 is sat in inventory for 141 days. And then one thing I decided to do in April was to take all the children's items, clothing of my granddaughters, and just bunch them all up in the same size. I'm tired of looking at them, I'm tired of, they don't sell fast for me. So I thought I would take a chance and make some mystery boxes out of them. So on April 20th, I had 10 sales on April 20th. First set was a mystery children's box for tea, which is why I was explaining that. Sold it for $15. It only sat in inventory for one day. And all those clothing items have probably sat longer, way longer than that. So I was happy that I did that. And then I had someone do a bundle and she had eight items in this bundle. Probably one of the biggest bundles I've sold in quite some time. But first up was this Tiana B. Sleeveless Printed Fit and Flare Dress. Neva Tag. Sold it for $17.39. Sat in inventory for 282 days. And then she picked out a Mary Kay Mineral Highlighting Powder Pink Porcelain color. For $3.91. It sat in inventory for 393 days. And then she also got a Mary Kay Neuroshine Plus Lip Gloss Fancy Nancy. It was $5.65, sat in inventory for 397 days. And then in her bundle, she had this Bally Total Fitness Racer Back Tank for $6.52, sat in inventory for 408 days. And then she picked out this Lululemon Cool Racer Back Stripe Rib Paris Pink Color. And it sold for $6.52, sat in inventory for 99 days. I think it was missing a size tag, and so those I tend to let go for less. And then she got another Mary Kay Mineral Bronzing Powder King and Go color 
$4.78, sat in inventory for 393 days. And then she got this Mary Kay Compact Pro. Didn't come with anything, but it will hold all those items that she just purchased. $9.57, sat in inventory for 399 days. And then last of that bundle that she got was this Mary Kay Neuro Shine Plus Lip Gloss Pink Satin, $5.66, sat in inventory for 397 days. Her total bundle was $60. Not bad for a bundle. And then next up was this, another hat, and it was the last thing I sold on that day. And it was this August Hat Company straw hat with animal print around the, the bottom of the hat. $20, sat inventory for 22 days. So I gotta get some more hats. Next up, April 21st, I had three items sell. First up was this Adidas Ultimate Tee, $18, sat in inventory for 213 days. And then this Free People Lovely Day Tunic, sold it for $20. It sat in inventory for only 16 days. And then last was this Coach Delilah Black Tassel Shoes, or Dahila, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. Sold it for $16. It sat in inventory for 257 days. On April 22nd, I had four items that sold. One of them was a bundle. First up, and it's part of this bundle, is this Jerry T Animal Print Zip Dress. New with tags. Absolutely stunning. Love this. Wish it was my size. It wasn't. Sold it for $21.84. Sat in inventory for 182 days. She got this Free People boho dress sold it for twelve dollars and 23 cents sat in inventory for 518 days and then last of her bundle was this harley davidson top ten dollars and 93 cents sat in inventory for 460 days her total bundle was 45 dollars bundles are where they are at to make the bigger profit i feel it's april 22nd last day or last item i sold was this zaffle lace eyelet tassel drawstring romper. This is part of that lot that I bought online that I did a video for from RDM Outlet. And so it sold for $15 and it only sat in inventory for three days. April 23rd, I had a couple of sales. First up was this Eileen Fisher wide leg crepe pants. Sold for $35, sat in inventory for 172 days. And then these Kinsey two-tone fray skinny jean another person i went back and forth on the price finally just was ready to let it go twelve dollars sat in inventory for 293 days on april 24th i had nine items that sold first that was this diane von burstenberg taran silk sheath dress i think i pronounced all that right 25 dollars sat in inventory for 335 days and then I sold this Lauren James short sleeve t-shirt, $13, sat in inventory for 341 days. And then I sold this Athleta Solid Splash Swim Brief Shorts. We're getting into summer and it's time to make sure you have those swimsuits listed. If you do not, sold that for $12, sat in inventory for 279 days. And then I sold this RBX Warm, warm Up Pullover. Lady sent me a thing saying if I accepted her offer, it was a done deal. So $9 was the offer, 758 days in inventory, which is why I was so willing to sell it at that price. Sold it on Macari. And then I sold another pair of Athleta blackboard shorts with paisley pattern on it. So those for $20 and they sat in inventory for 89 days. Next up was the Stitch Fix pair of Dime, Dima, something top. Sold it for $14, sat in inventory for 467 days. And then I sold this Lucky Brand two-piece bathing suit. It was an odor uh, tag, and so I knew it had been around for a while. But anyways, I sold that for $17, sat in inventory for 330 days. Next set was this Lucy Black Skirt. 
$25 sat in inventory for 158 days. I sold that on Macari. Can't remember if that was new with tags or not, but anyways. And then last for that day was this J. Crew Factory Popover Tunic. It sold for $17, sat in inventory for 273 days. April 25th, I had a couple of sales. First, that was this Hue chocolate brown hoodie. So stinking soft. Sold it for $10, sat in inventory for 720 days. It was also one of my very first few purchases that I ever made. Then I sold these, this adorable Betsy Johnson wifey robe. Try to keep it. Husband laughed at me, so I sold it. $25, sat in inventory for 92 days. On April 26, I had three sales. First, that was the Beverly Feldman Gingham Floral Bow Sandals. I thought this was a Betsy Johnson shoes, and so it you really need to pay attention to your labels. And when I figured out that it was not Betsy Johnson, I was just praying that I could sell them. <laughs> Sell those for $15, not bad, and they sat in inventory for 55 days. And then next set were these Born Crown Sway Clogs. Born seems to sell easy for me as well. Sell those for $15 as well, but they have sat in inventory for 637 days. And then last for that day was this Anthropology Lebanese Wagner Chambray Denim Top. This was actually a Facebook Marketplace lady was selling inventory for somebody and so i was able to snag up a few things from that sale 25 dollars is what i sold that for it sat in inventory for 294 days on april 28th i had eight items that sold it also included a bundle but first set was this johnny cash graphic tee sold that for 19 dollars. it sat in inventory for 388 days and then next set were these lily pulitzer jelly flip-flops so those for $15, they sat in inventory for 285 days. And then next up is the bundle. First up of this lady's bundle was a J. Jill red brick sleeveless sweater. Sold it for $13.75, sat in inventory for 565 days. And then the social light rib white top, $13.75, sat in inventory for 108 days. And then she got this big Buddha makeup bag sold it for $13.75 it sat in inventory for 195 days and last of that bundle was this Lafayette 148 New York zip blazer stunning magenta color loved it $13.75 sat in inventory for 443 days her total bundle was $55 and then I sold this pair of Lucky Brand Charlie Skinny Royal Blue Jeans, new with tags, bought those from an estate sale, sold those for $20, and they sat in inventory for 23 days. And then next was the Sigrid Olsen Collection Anniversary Art Blouse. Beautiful. I have a blue one and then a pink one. So I sold this one here for $21 from an estate sale as well, 151 days in inventory. On April 29th, I sold this pair of Polo Ralph Lauren swim trunks for $10, sat in inventory for 270 days. And then April 30th, I had two sales, last day of the month. So first one was this Lacoste sweater full zip hoodie for $14, sat in inventory for 54 days. And then last of that was this Rock and Republic Bermuda shorts. Sold it for $22. It sat in inventory for 281 days. And so I feel like I need to do what I did for March because, believe me, this is much bigger than what March was. And so, without further ado, drum roll. Total sales for April was $1,062.25. My total invested amount of what I spent on those items was $332.75, which makes my total net profit, which means meeting last year's April month with a total net profit of $729.50 into my pocket. And believe me, I will take it. another insert because it seems like I forget to do this every daggum time I make a video. 
just want to make sure that I thank all of you that purchased from me in the month of April. Thank you so much. I cannot be successful in doing what I'm doing if it wasn't for you and those that have shopped and bought for me. I couldn't do any of this without you. So I appreciate you so very much. And then also just to let you know that my goal for April was to only do $515.45. That's what I did last year and I overdid it. So I'm not complaining. I'll overdo it every time I can. So thank you everyone. I appreciate it. Now to finish the video. So if you like these kind of videos, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and to be notified every time I upload new video content, just ring that little bell down below as well. So, as I always end my videos, remember that the dream is for free, but the hustle is sold separately. Bye!